each one of us uses mathematics in everyday living. From the time we wake up, we take a look at clocks to count how many hours we have spent in sleeping, or how we'll be able to manage your time in a day. If you are talking about counting, you are already pertaining to numbers. Perceptibly, that involves mathematics. Whatever field we are in, surely there is mathematics. In healthcare, accurate math skills for medical professionals has been evident. Without mathematics, they cannot be able to perform effectively in the calculation of medication, metric system conversion, vital signs, blood test, and conducting clerical office work. In finance, professionals use mathematics to calculate interest in the stock market. It uses a mathematical skill in managing money, like saving and investing. In the field of sports, geometry and trigonometry can be used to improve someone's athletic skills. It helps to find the best way to make a basket or run, and even in hitting a ball. In astronomy, how professionals will measure gigantic objects just like comets or any heavenly bodies for a very far location without applying mathematics. Even in space undertakings, mathematics is used to make accurate measurements where a slight mistake in calculation could put a spacecraft in danger and out of its target planning setting. In terms of weather forecast or climate-related models and conditions, professionals address this through mathematics. Even in predicting phenomenal events such as eruptions, earthquake, and typhoon, there is mathematics. Math is a complex subject, but we cannot deny the fact that this is a very essential aspect of our lives. When scientists seek to understand the pattern of the world, they often turn to a powerful tool, mathematics. They quantify their observation and use mathematical techniques to examine, hoping to discover the underlying causes of nature's rhythm and regularity. But most significantly, did you know that the heart of mathematics is a pattern? We usually have patterns in computing math problems, which is said to be the formulas. Patterns are well defined as objects, variables, or processes that we perceive through our thinking and senses that unswervingly repeats. Were you able to observe that in nature? There is mathematics? Do you ever wonder why sometimes honeycombs or leaves from trees are symmetrical? Well, it is because patterns do exist in nature. Even bodies of humans and animals have patterns too. Do you know that even music has a pattern? From the repeating lyrics to repeating notes, patterns indeed are present. How important are these patterns that we see? Well, if you know the concept of patterns, we can know how objects and manifestations behave or recur, making us easier to solve similar problems and anticipate the next securing behavior of a certain thing. Have you ever seen a butterfly, a face, or a popular cartoon character like Patrick Star? I know that you have already seen those, but what are their natural pattern called? Well, their patterns are called symmetries. There is a symmetry if two or more parts are identical after a flip, slide, or turn. In 
in terms of arts. Have you ever noticed the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh? Professionals have discovered that there is a diverse pattern of turbulent fluid structure which is close to Kolmogorov's equations that are hiddenly mass in the majority of his works. In ice crystals or snowflakes, lightning bolts, ferns, and cracks, what have you noticed? There is mathematics. The formation and the appearance of these objects are called fractals. As you zoom in, you will notice the same patterns over and over again. Fractals are defined as a detailed pattern that looks similar at any scale that repeats itself over time. Do you know that we can apply mathematics to certain animals as well? You can see the fur of the giraffe, a series of irregular brown spots that fit together like parts of a puzzle. A puzzle like array of irregular transparent cells is often outlined by delicate veins of the wings of the dragonfly. The thing is called the Boronoi pattern. Who would have thought that there is a mathematics in a thing? This is what we call the golden spiral, a resemblance of the golden ratio. Golden spiral or golden ratio can be found in nature, from the curve of the humanoid ear to the humanoid bone structure, to the development pattern of leaves and flowers, to the helixes of Nautilus seashell or the spirals of galaxies. The demand for the golden ratio has led to its recognition as the geometrical blueprint for life. The prominent Greek philosopher even called it the key to the physics of the cosmos. Golden ratio has been observed in different kinds of architecture and work of art, like great pyramids of Giza in Egypt, the Parthenon in Greece, even in Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and the Vitruvian Man. The Vitruvian Man is popularly known as the Universal Man, which represents the beauty, complexity, and symmetry of the human frame. In mathematics, an example of the application of this concept is called recursive sequences. These sequences are set of numbers that rely on the previous number to get the value of the next number. The best example of recursive sequence is the Fibonacci sequence, where you add the two previous numbers to get the next number. In the golden ratio, the series of its squares has lengths of side of 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. Fibonacci sequence was lately introduced in 1202 in a book called Liber Abasi, which is commonly known as the Book of the Abacus by an Italian mathematician, namely Leonardo Pisano Bicoglio, also known as Fibonacci. He came up with the idea of this sequence by asking himself, how? to rabbit's bread. Another example in nature, number of petals. Flowers like Calia Lily who has one petal, Euphorbia who has two petals, Trillium who has three petals, Hibiscus who has five petals, Bloodroots who has eight petals, 
Black Eyed Susan with 13 petals, Shasta Daini with 21 petals, and Daisy who has 24 petals. Through this, you will be noticed that most flowers have several petals which is a Fibonacci number. We already know about some concepts of Fibonacci sequence. Now, it is time for us to listen to a piece of music that is made from the Fibonacci pattern. So what are you waiting for? Let's embrace the beauty of mathematics. <laughs> 